Hey guys, what's going on? It's Trap here. So, today, as you can see from the title and what's on the floor, which is fire alarm, pull station, and then the actual alarm, it's right up there. It's off the junction box right now, so I can show you inside the box later. Uh, I haven't uploaded it in a while because I had a hard time finding my camera. Apparently, it was under my bed. Didn't know that. Finally found my camera. Oh, sorry. Uh, so I finally found my camera. And so today I'm going to show you my pole station, which is a Firelight BG-12L with a key reset by Honeywell and Firelight. This is the box that it came in. Fire light alarms. And you can cut the front of this box off. And you can use it as a dust cover for the pull station. Which I thought was pretty cool. So, yeah, we have a BG-12L. This is the key for it. So, and I believe all the locks on the BG-12 are the, that aren't hex key are all the same. So, you can order this key for your BG-12 under the part number of 17003 and then on the other side of the key there's the firelight logo and then I put a blue label tag on here and I got the pull station the alarm and the wire from uh, Amazon this is was 24 495 I believe on Amazon and then the wire was I believe eight dollars for a 50 foot roll of Amazon basic speaker cable uh, the alarm itself which is up here is the was like fourteen dollars and I'll show you the make of that in a minute right now I'm gonna focus in on the pull station so, really what we have here is the BG-12 key lock reset. It's one of the alarms that you can open without the alarm going off and you don't have to have a glass rod in it. So, right here, this is just a switch. You flip this on and off for the alarm to come on. So, normal is down here where my finger is and then down here it says activated. And then this is just mounted to a four inch square junction box. Along with the alarm that's also on a four inch junction box. And then, so what we have here is, is to set the alarm off, you push in, pull down, it reads activated. You open the box up then close it to reset the alarm. You do not have to flip the switch. That's a misconception about the BG-12. It will automatically flip the switch for you. You do not have to do that. So, the conduit connectors, which are right there, there, here, and here, this one has a little piece of conduit sticking out of it. Because I need to get a 90 degree bend adapter for this. And then I'm going to take a 5, uh, I think it's 5 or 6 inches, 5 or 6 inch piece of conduit off that 90. And then I'm going to put a smoke detector on there to wire into the system. This is fire alarm siren. It is set to 120 candela. So it's not running at that performance because we have it set to run something totally different. Because it's on 9 volts instead of 12. And then this manufacturer, this is the box that came in, is newer red fire alarm sound and light alarm. Part number... Four zero zero one eight four nine nine by newer. Uh, like I said, that came off of uh, Amazon as well. And then we've got in here 
You got just a regular four inch junction box, Amazon Basics speaker wire. And then securing this on here is securing this onto the junction box is drywall screws that come through the back of the junction box and then screw into the plastic. Those are three inch drywall screws. And that was my redneck modification because I couldn't mount them into the junction box so the screws would have had to go upside down and I couldn't get them threaded in. And so I just took a drill and drilled those screws in, put the screws through the back and then screwed them into that, got it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera back on the tripod and we are going to show you what this thing is like what it sounds like and we're going to put you up here by the head all right so i'm going to go ahead and set it off and this is only going to be for a second so i don't think you're even going to see the strobe go off and it just keeps repeating that noise until you shut the alarm off so, I mean, there will be more to this system. I'm supposed to be going to talk to a company called VSE Fire and Security that is supposed to hook me up with some old stuff to add to my system. And then we'll be adding more to the system and stuff like that. But until then, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And links to all the stuff that you see here will be in the description. Alright, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Drive out.